I am speaking with uh, Josh Hallett, Senior Vice President, Voce Communications. You just gave a great, great presentation about how you guys are managing your content for all your clients. And one thing that I was very intrigued by is sort of how you extend the life of a piece of content. You have one great piece of content, gets a lot of comments. How do you get sort of double duty out of that? Well, there's a, there's a couple different approaches. First of all, um, what are you learning from the comments themselves? You know, what is the audience telling you? What is the feedback loop? Uh, is there something that they'd like you to expand on? Is there a, maybe a content gap? Is there something you missed? And that's the low-hanging fruit. Your ability now to come back, issue another post saying, you know, a lot of you are asking about this. Here it is. You know, the funny thing is when you're you're listening to what the audience wants and you're providing that content, you're taking sales and marketing out of the equation because you're not trying to convince them of something. You're actually giving them what they want. So taking that feedback loop and then as those maybe conversations extend to places like Facebook and Twitter, you know, if there's been a great conversation on Facebook, one of the problems with Facebook is none of that content ever gets indexed or archived. So a couple weeks from now, if I want to recall a conversation or an interaction with a brand, it's a very difficult process. So if on a separate social network we've seen an interesting conversation, what we may end up doing is replaying that conversation or sharing it in a different way on the blog itself. We'll point out like, here's the question we asked, or this is the you know this is the content we we set out there. This is what the community thought about it. But here's what we've learned from it, and here's what we're doing with it now, and repost that, and then invite that conversation back in. So now that content is indexed and shared, and we've harnessed maybe external conversations for greater value. You know, at the end of the day, what we're always trying to do is generate short-term and long-term value of every piece of content. You know, the short-term value is, if, as we share it, what's the conversation we're generating right now? The long-term value is, if somebody stumbles upon this six months from now, one year from now, are they still going to get the context, and they can they still generate some type of conversation around it? How long can you make a piece of content live on? Because, I mean, I've seen super hot stories, and, like, uh, my guess is if you repost, you know, that conversation into your blog it invites a, yet a, even another conversation. Do you then yet again just repeat the process again? You can. I mean, if you're doing it uh, literally by design, we're like, okay, we know we have, let's say with like a visual asset perspective, we have a series of screenshots around a particular topic. You know, are we time releasing those things? We're going to share one today. We're going to share one tomorrow. So in a sense, you are artificially extending that timeline. But anything else like in a traditional news cycle, you know, if you've got some new nugget or piece of information to share, be able to share those things. The other thing too is, you know, the the long tail nature of the web is, you know, a community out there that may be tangentially related to your product or your service may discover something. So you may publish something, you may publish a video, and a year later somebody out there finds it and says, this is great because to them, it's still new to them. They've never seen it. It's kind of like a, a used car. It's new to somebody. And then a whole secondary conversation, you know, generates based upon that, that rediscovery. You know, the ability now to pivot and go back and really answer those questions or, you know, resurface the story um, is something we, we're consistently doing because, you know, we have this archive of content and we want to be able to generate as much value as we can out of that archive of content. So consistently going back to it and resurfacing it in proper ways is a true um, skill set. Excellent. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you.